All right, now this next play, we're going to talk about Terrell Edmonds here, man. He had a big uh, PBU in the third quarter. Honestly, man, Edmonds has been playing really, really well this season, man. This is long overdue in terms of this film breakdown. So, excuse me. So, we're going to talk about this uh, this first PBU that he has right here on a third down against the Tennessee Titans. So, here's Edmonds, obviously in the deep half. We'll play it at full speed, and after that, we'll break it down. All righty. So to start it out, man, the Steelers are showing a cover two concept, meaning, all right, you got your two, your two high safeties, right? Or a split safety concept, because you could look at this and say, all right, is it cover four? Because you see uh, Nelson and Joe Hayden playing off. Is it cover six where Joe Edmonds and Minka were going to be the deep guys? And then uh, uh, Steven Nelson is going to be playing a little bit uh, up close to the line of scrimmage in a squat technique. But the thing that I like about this is, number one, the disguise, everybody is working in it together, okay? And it morphs into a cover three, meaning on the fly, you'll see Mika get to the middle, and then Edmonds, knowing where he's at on the field, he doesn't have to gain a lot of ground, but right here, you see where he needs to be. Curl, flat defender, hook, curl, hook, curl, curl, flat defender. Then you got your deep third guys, okay? So that's the simple way of playing the cover three out of this. But like I said, it was a great job from a pre-snap disguise standpoint by him. Now for the Titans on offense, they're an empty set, but they have a uh, three by two, okay? So you have obviously these three receivers over here, and now you're condensed a little bit on the backside, all right? So whenever you get a condensed formation, you start thinking about the different ways that that can attack you, some of your outbreaking routes, some of your uh, cross field concepts and things like that. But with uh, Edmonds, man, the thing that I love about this on this play, number one, his eyes, okay? He's seeing what he's supposed to be seeing. Knowing that it's a zone concept, knowing that he's the hook curl defender, he's reading the quarterback, all right? He gets to his landmark, which he already is going to be at just off of his alignment pre-snap. But once the ball is snapped, he keeps his eyes where they need to be, okay? So you see right now, he's not getting enamored with all this. He's seeing where their quarterback is looking. He feels this over route, so that's why he's starting to shift there a little bit, right? He's shuffling to the inside. And obviously, at the time, Tannehill was looking over there. So as a zone defender, if the, the quarterback looks to the right, you should move your landmark over a yard or two to the right. If he looks left, then you do the exact same thing, but to the left. So you see, initially, he's moving to the right. Now that Tannehill's coming back, now he's moving back left. And this is just what he's blessed with, man. God-given ability in terms of range, in terms of being able to be shift, uh, to be shuffling to his right, put a foot in the ground, and then get back to his left. Great job of being able to, like I said, just take away one by body position, but then reacting to another, the, the deep end cut on just his athletic ability. And this is why, I mean, when you talk about Tretman's being a first round pick, these are some of the things that the Steelers were wanting him to grow and to grow and develop into. And we're starting to see that a lot more uh, this year for him. Right here, body position on that. He's not worried about chasing that because he knows what? If As long as this thing continues to go over, I have a safety right here. That is not my responsibility. You body position is so Tannehill can't just throw it to this window, right? So he's prepared for that. But this is what Tannehill is hunting right here. You give me this to see if anyone's going to jump on it, and I'm hunting the deep end. Great patience, great eyes, amazing break. Biggest knock, though. You got to catch that ball, baby. You got to catch the ball. You, hey, man, that's the difference between good players and great players right there, man. They make those type of plays, and trust me, Edmonds is on the way. But that was that. I feel like, man, this year we're seeing a lot better, a lot better version of him in his coverage in terms of his ball skills and ultimately just the PBUs that he's been able to accumulate thus far. It's been a huge improvement for him in um in this season. But yeah, just beautiful job with that break. You see the speed flashing. I mean, he, he does a lot right here. Just wish he would catch it. But I do love the finger tape, man. Reminds me of Ryan Clark, baby. You know what he did in Pittsburgh. But here it is again from the end zone. See Tannehill looking left. Now when he comes back right, Beautiful break, though. Golly, beautiful break. All right, now this uh, next play we're going to talk about with Terrell Edmonds. It's the uh, the uh, the big PBU that he had down on the goal line. This would have happened right before the epic Robert Spillane tackle on Derrick Henry. But as we always do, we'll play it at full speed, and after that, we'll break it down. So this is Edmonds right here, and here we go.
All righty. So to start it out, man, the Steelers, they are on the goal line, but they are not playing goal line defense. Um, this is their base front. You see the three down D linemen, Tyson. They have Henry Mondewin. Shout out to Henry. And uh, Cam, uh, excuse me, Cam Hayward down here. And then the rest, like I said, this is your basic, just base defense look, okay? From a cover standpoint, it's hard to really tell just because of how condensed it is. It's either cover one or cover three, though, just based on Minka and what some of these guys do from a post snap standpoint. But the thing that I love, though, is Terrell Edmonds eyes. When we're talking about his growth, his development as it pertains to the passing game, fundamentally, man, he's been just very rock solid in that department, man, making sure that his feet where they need to be, his eyes are where they need to be. And he's doing all the little things right. So now when we're talking about this play, it works out perfect for him because of that. Okay, so once he gets this motion, he knows, all right, from a run gap standpoint, I'm going to be more in here now, right? Because obviously Joe has the force, okay? TJ is going to fit in here somewhere, and then Edmonds is going to fit off of wherever this guy typically would fit on TJ, okay? So it's just a puzzle, just one, two, three. It's going to be three gaps off of these two guys, and that's how those three will fit on those two, okay? But the thing that I love is this. So Edmonds is ready. He's obviously down. Because, I mean, in terms of his depth, you have to be a lot closer when you have Derrick Henry, you know, from one yard out what he's capable of doing. But look at his eyes, okay? So, <clears throat> initially, he steps up on the run fake. And when you're playing Derrick Henry, you're on the goal line, that's going to happen. You see how all of these guys stepped up on the run. The thing that I love is this. After that, he never turns back around. He finds his man. That is beautiful. But then once he catches up to him, he doesn't tackle him. He doesn't run into him and create a, a bonehead penalty. No, he plays the ball. He gets his head turned around right in enough time when the, uh, the, the, the receiver is putting his hands up. And he ultimately plays through the hands to finish the play. Man, this was amazing because a lot of times with defenders, man, when they're in coverage, if they are beat initially or early in the down, they want to look back and see if the quarterback is throwing them the ball. Yes, if you are beating the NFL, the quarterback nine times out of 10 is throwing it to your man. Don't peek, just run. And he does that. Look at this beautiful head back. You see the stripe, the 34. He's not worried about anything except getting to his man. And then from there, play through the hands, baby. Beautiful. I mean, that's been the knock on Edmonds early on in his career. Ball skills, ball skills in the right position, but ball skills right here, man. You see the ball skills on full display and it was just a great job by him, man. Very, very impressive. And man, he had a really good game against the Titans. And then we'll see it again from the end zone right here, okay? So you can just see, like I said, his eyes. See what he's looking at, what he's thinking, man. And ultimately, that finish. I love the finish, man. This is beautiful. This is coaching tape right here. When you talk about just when you're in coverage, if you're running behind the guy, what you're supposed to do versus what you're not supposed to do. He does a great job of doing all the little things right, though, man. All right, I'm fooled. All right, it's pass. I see him taking there. I'm beelining, going right to where the guy's going to be, not where he's at, where he's going to be. And then from there, look at that head. Last second turns around. Beautiful finish, man. Beautiful finish.